What's up guys, everything Apple Pro here, and Apple's been pumping out updates like it's nothing. iOS 9.1 beta 3, 9.1 beta 4, 9.0.2, you know, very soon after 9.0.1, so we're getting a ton, a ton of software updates, which is good, but, you know, at the same time, there is so much that's changing and it's hard to keep track of everything, but in this video, I'm going to be showing you what's new in iOS 9.1 since beta 3. I actually skipped beta 3 because there really wasn't that much that's changed, so in this video, I have a lot more to show you guys. Also, a lot of people have been seeing a lot of huge performance increases. I've been reading on forums, but I can't see it myself. So I'm going to do a couple tests on uh, the 5, 6, and see if uh, there is any improvement. But let's go ahead and jump right into the new changes. And I'm going to show you up and how to install this if all of these changes justify an upgrade. So very first change in iOS 9.1 beta 4 is an addition, a new setting in the power settings. So if you go into the battery settings, you know, this is what you usually see. But now... Once uh, your phone actually analyzes your usage patterns, it will start recommending things right here. The very first thing is this setting right here. It'll give you a recommendation to actually enable auto lock. And I couldn't reproduce it on my device for some reason, but some users are seeing this option right here. So you'll get an option to enable auto lock if it's not currently enabled in your power settings. So maybe you'll get more suggestions. Who knows? With time, we'll be able to see more options here, but you know, a good step in the right direction, you know, further enhancing battery life. Now when I was 9.1 beta, three there were a couple other changes i'm going to go ahead and show you those right now now the first is wallpaper there are four new wallpapers and they did replace four older ones so let me go ahead and show you guys choose a new wallpaper no new live wallpapers i looked through here uh, these are pretty much all the ones that you do get and man i do love the live wallpapers they look so cool uh, anyways so in the stills so take a look at this now this wallpaper right here has been replaced by this one on the left so no more desert i don't know why apple removes the old ones i mean keep them I, I don't understand why you would remove them. I like having nice wallpapers, the more the better. And these three planets right here. So Pluto has been replaced, at least I think that's Pluto. Uh, and here we have this planet right here has been replaced and Mars has got a new angle. So the Martian, maybe some advertising in there. <laughs> I don't know, but I absolutely love the Martian. I love this wallpaper. I'm gonna be using it on my personal device. So it looks nice, you know. I looked through the rest and I didn't see anything else, but there are a couple new wallpapers. And an even smaller change is in the actual keyboard, not the emojis, but the shift key right here. If you'll notice, it's a little bolder on the left in 9.1, as well as the delete key. Now, if I actually double tap on it, you'll notice it's a little bit longer, a little bit bolder. And I took a screenshot of the delete key one. So you guys will notice that the delete key is now bolder as well. So it's slightly larger on 9.1. You know, it's the little things like these, Apple's attention to detail that makes iOS nice. Never had a problem with the smaller ones, but it's good to have slightly bolder backspace and shift keys. Now, besides this, this is pretty much the entire change log. There really isn't that much different, but of course in 9.1 in general, the huge change is the new emoji setup. So not only is there that middle finger emoji, you have a ton of new emojis and the categorization is a lot different. So uh, over here, it's called smileys and people. So the grouping is way different. They've been reorganized and of course you get a ton of new emojis. So that's all great, but how's the performance? Like I said, a lot of people I read noticed huge performance increases. I didn't notice anything. And on my iPhone 6S, this is probably the device you wouldn't notice anything. There is like no difference. 9.1 beta 4 on the left, nearly identical. But let's see on the older devices, maybe Apple did fix the metal API and it runs better now, who knows? Let's try and get into the app switcher and beta four is on the left. No difference. I mean, this is the one area where I would notice the biggest difference going from iOS eight to iOS nine is getting into the app switcher and sliding it down. But no difference for me. Let's try the five, maybe something there. All right, 9.0.2 on the right and terrible. Oh, God, makes me feel so dirty using an OS this slow so stuttery uh okay 9.1 beta 4 on the left is even slower than 9.0.2 on the iphone 5 of course it's a beta but terrible oh my gosh all right so right there there's a little bit of an improvement um look at that so okay i take that back maybe 9.1 beta 4 is a little bit faster just the first result was worse one two three see that's terrible okay so Performance looks better on the iPhone 5, 
we've a little bit more responsive but 9.1 in general will be a big update these small updates like 9.0.1 or 9.0.2 we can't really see anything but there are a couple nice new features in 9.1 hopefully we'll be seeing a release soon but officially the talk is that it will be released in november with the new ipad pro i mean deep within ios 9.1 there's a whole bunch of changes for the ipad pro and the stylus and the new smart cover so we'll be seeing a lot of that now if you guys want to install it and you have an earlier version of 9.1 it's as simple as going into the software update and clicking update. If you guys have the public beta, you want to scroll down to profiles, delete the old profile, restart your device, and then go in here and install the newest public beta. It's the same as the developer version. Now, if you guys want to install 9.1 and you haven't installed it yet, link can be found down below in the description, and I'll show you guys how to do that there. But thanks for watching this video. You know, iOS 9.1, small little update, but a couple nice little changes in there, namely the emojis and the new wallpapers. They do look very nice. So thanks for watching. Have a great day. Enjoy iOS 9.1 if you do choose to install it. Peace.